Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to root the Sony Xperia Z or ZL. Uh, I'm personally running the ZL. Let me just prove it to you guys uh, about phone. And you can see the code model number is C6506. Okay. This routing method also works for a bunch of other Android devices. Um, as you can see, it's known to work for like the HTC One S, the uh, Sensation XL, the UK version of the Nexus 7, uh, the Galaxy S2, a whole bunch of different devices. Uh, so it, it will work for those devices, but I'm focusing more on the uh, Z and ZL. So this is under the assumption that your Z or ZL, you cannot unlock the bootloader or you don't want to unlock the bootloader and you just want to simply root. Uh, if you want to root your device and unlock the bootloader, don't follow this method. But if you're not sure whether your device can or cannot be unlocked, um, there's a video uh, in the description below. Hit that link, and in that video, I teach you how to find out if you can unlock the bootloader, uh, yes or no. My particular Sony ZL cannot have the bootloader unlocked, so that's why I'm using this method. Um, all credit and props goes to Binary on XD Developers. I suggest you log in and hit the thanks button. Actually, you should even donate to them for all their hard work and continuing development. And uh, furthermore, I am not a developer, so if you have any technical questions or concerns, please do not ask me. I will most likely not respond to you because I am not a developer. I can't help you. Uh, what I suggest you do is log into XDA Developers, go to this forum post, and this forum post with all the instructions and files, I will put a link to it in the description below. Log in, ask your question, and I'm sure Binary or another developer will try to help you out uh, because they are the pros, I'm not, okay? Uh, so before you can do anything at all, you want to get your drivers up and running for your device. So in my particular instance, um, I'm running the Sony Xperia Z. So what I just simply do is Google PC Companion, hit the first link, download it, install it, then also Google Update Service here. And you'll notice that I'm clicking the UK link. It doesn't matter, even though I'm in Canada, it, it's fine. And there should be a download button right here. Uh, I guess someone who runs a Sony website screwed it up. This should be a download button, but it still works. We can do is highlight from HTTP all the way up to setup, okay, as I have. Copy it, paste that link, press enter. It goes to the, the actual file you need to download. This is update service downloading. Uh, hopefully in the future, in the near future, someone will, as Sony will fix this download link, but th that method I just used works. Uh, when you get up update service, install it and everything, uh, take your Sony device, plug it into computer regularly, run PC Companion, then close it. It'll install a whole bunch of drivers and everything, and run update service, and it'll ask you to update and turn your phone off. Don't do it, just you can close the program after that. The drivers should install for your Sony ZL or Z on your computer. If not, you have to install the Android SDK. Uh, in order to get that up and running, if you need the Android SDK, I have a video for that too. You can find that video in the description below. For other devices, uh, like the Galaxy S2 or the HTC Sensation, whatever was listed in this forum, I'm not going to teach you how to do that because I make this video way too long. All you simply do is for the Sensation ZL or XL, for example, just Google something like Sensation XL driver and you can find a whole bunch of results on Google. So just Google your device like that, okay? Please don't ask me for help. Okay, so what you want to do now is download, uh, actually you want to get your phone ready first before you download the file. You're going to go to your phone, system settings, developer options, turn it on, press OK, enable USB debugging, press OK, uh, security, where is security, check mark unknown sources, press OK. And this particular method that here works for ice cream sandwich and jelly bean devices, my device is uh, where is it? Android 4.1.2. So that's Jelly Bean. And what you're going to do at this point is just connect it to your computer. It's nothing fancy, just connect it simply with your USB cord. Uh, where is it? That's it. And now, uh, at this point, on this forum link, uh, as mentioned, it's linked in the description below. This forum post might change here and there, but basically you're looking for the most recent uh, version of the routing method. You're going to hit click or download it or whatever. Uh, press free download, download it, extract it. I personally extracted it to my desktop here. I just put it in a, I just made a folder called root just because it's easier to find. At this point, you're going to hit run me.bat. Okay, 
For people like myself that are running the Xperia Z or ZL, you're going to hit option 3. Uh, the instructions here, right? You can see that newer devices. If you're running a special device like the Sony Tablet S or whatever, you're going to hit option 2. And for all other devices, you're going to hit option 1. If your device is supported, okay? So, remember, um, your device must be supported somewhere in here. The exact details are in this forum post, don't ask me about them because I don't have all those devices. And this is the point of no return. So basically at this point, uh, you'll be modifying your device and should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, you'll be doing so at your own risk. Furthermore, most likely your data on your device will not be deleted. However, there is a big chance it could be, so I suggest you back up your contacts and data. Um, I will show you, I'll have some video links in the description below telling you how to do just that. Uh, so with that said, I have a... ZL is not listed, but it's the same as the Xperia Z method. So I'm going to hit number three. Oops. Number three, enter. Detects it. Okay, so at this point, after I detected it, uh, everything's fine. So that means my drivers are working pretty good. Uh, so I'm good to go. And it says you have to confirm the restore option. And on the phone, automatically this popped up. Okay, you basically have to press restore my data or confirm the restore rest, restoration or whatever you want to call it then here it says press any key okay so after I hit any key it's basically telling me what to do uh, so at this point the menu changed again on its own I'm gonna hit service tests okay and then after that you're gonna hit display and you're just gonna wait Okay, so um, after selecting service tests and display, the phone, the screen went white, and this I noticed that the screen just turns off quickly, and uh, the computer, like or the, the root program, did a whole bunch of stuff in the background, and now it's asking if you want super user or super su right here, one or two. Uh, th there's no right or wrong decision to be honest, um, but I'll just use super su. So I'm gonna press two, enter. And it's pushing root to the device and uh, basically it's rebooting I notice that the charging LED notification it has disappeared so I assume the device is rebooting so we'll continue from there okay so the device is actually booting uh, I just had to wait a few seconds longer and at this point it's basically telling me that um, it can close down command prompt so you can press any key to continue and that's it. We'll check if root is working just now. Okay, so at this point, um, I guess it's safe to disconnect the device from the computer. I'm just going to check if root is working. Okay. Where is Super SU? There it is. Super SU. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to give it a test to see if Super SU is working properly. I'm going to open Titanium Backup. And there, it's asking for root rights. I'm going to grant them. Uh, whatever. And that's it. You have root access. So um, that's pretty much it. Everything seems to be working just fine. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.